a lot of us were feeling pretty uncomfortable in the build up to this to this World Cup. Um, not wanting to feel complicit in um, in you know in the in in the sort of persecution of minorities in places like Qatar, but at the same time wanting to, to you know celebrate the organisation, to enjoy enjoy uh, the tournament, to enjoy the tournament, to support our teams, and just not really having a way to kind of exercise that. Um, trying to take a pragmatic approach and and um, understanding that yeah we uh, lots of we have like there's lots of different ways that you can respond to this. There's not necessarily one, there's no right or wrong. Um, and um, I, ha I had this idea of for every goal scored to basically try and take um, that, that feeling and channel it towards some sort of social good. Um, what we hope to achieve is we hope to, to continue to raise awareness for, for the issues, for the persecution of, of LGBTQ communities in places like Qatar, but then also to, to, to raise funds um, for a, a UK-based charity um, called Mind Out who provide online mental health services for um, LGBTQ, to, uh, LGBTQ plus communities um, around the world. Awesome. And um, what did you make of the One Love Armband situation? So, uh, I mean, I think it's a great shame that an initiative that has gone some way to build inclusivity at previous tournaments has gone by, it's completely gone by the wayside. Um, from 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 what I understand, FIFA only kind of responded to England and Wales's position to to wear the armband um, at the eleventh hour, which of course put the nations in a difficult position. But for me, I'd have liked to have seen the armbands worn at, at any footballing cost. Um, I think to be honest, like the um, I saw some I saw some punditry. I think it was um, Eni Luca and Roy Keane actually said that. Um, it's not really true allyship unless there's like some element of sacrifice on the part of the person doing the protesting. And, and, and to be honest, I can't imagine there's been a huge amount of sacrifice or a huge amount of cost to um, Harry Kane or England up until this point in, in terms of wearing that armband. Um, and so it, it's, it feels like it's a bit of a shame that um, at the first sign of some sacrifice, that initiative completely gone by the wayside. I think I'd have liked to have seen them wear that armband uh, at any any footballing cost and actually taking the yellow would have been a far stronger gesture than um than just wearing the armband you know in the first place <laughs>